Hey there, Tariq. I got my mic working now. There you go. What's up, Robert? Question. There you go, Robert. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So what's on your mind, Robert? Uh, I just had a question. I was wondering how I, as like a white presenting dude, could do my part to help the cause other than just like donating money. Yeah, but you know, um, what you can do, um, because you are in white society, one thing that would be a great asset to us is for you to come to us privately and let us know what the white supremacists are saying about black people when we're not around. That will help us tremendously. That would be a great allyship where you can give us intel, see what they have planned for us, see what they're doing behind closed doors. If there's a case where there's um, some, some jurors about to let a white supremacist off, you need to let us know who everybody is. So we need you to be our eyes and ears um, within white supremacist society. We need you to infiltrate. You know, that's the best you can do. That will help us a lot. What part of the, where, what part of the country are you from, Rob? I'm from Alabama. What part of Alabama? Birmingham. Yes, but I'm, I lived in Birmingham. I was raised in Birmingham as a child. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yes, indeed. Um, I see a, a pride flag. Uh, you, you said, uh, you're, are you LGBT, sir? Yeah, LGBTQIA+. Plus, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You're, you're not trans, are you? Or are you just... Um... No, just a supporter. No, oh, there you go. There you go. Um, out there in Alabama, being an LGBT guy in Alabama, how is that vibe? Because Alabama is, you know, you know, the white people out there don't really play like that. Yeah, it's uh, it's gotten me into quite a few sticky situations. Um, not not the most accepting part of the U.S. Yeah, I'm like, um, what do you do out there in Alabama? Because, you know, them good old boys, they're very conservative out there. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah, yeah well, the, 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 Miss Giselle is in here, so you guys can exchange numbers. And, you know, she's close. She's in Atlanta, so y'all can holler. But thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. All right. A lot of interesting people here tonight. Giselle, I'm, I'm helping you get customers. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Do y'all hear my baby girl in the back? All right. Let's get um, Jeff Harden. Let's get Jeff Harden in here. What's up, Jeff? What's up? What's up? What's up, Jeffy? Um, I, I got a question for you. I always hear you talk about white supremacy. Uh, what, mm -hmm. what, what, what is white supremacy? Why are you so worried about white supremacy? Because I live in a system of white supremacy, and it affects me as a victim of white supremacy. So I have to be concerned with something that affects me negatively and my people negatively, right? How so? Can you give me some examples? Yeah, um, we live in a system that's dominated in all nine areas of activity by white supremacy. There's nine areas of activity, Mr. Jeff, um, labor, law, education, um, sex, war, religion, medical, um, and some others. So which one of those activities can you name, Jeff, any activity that people engage in that is not dominated by systematic white supremacy. What about the NBA? What about the NFL? Great thing. The NFL, the one that banned Colin Kaepernick for speaking out against racism, the one that punishes black players left and right for the most minor indiscretions, but give the white players a pass. The NFL and NBA that's owned by white males, white billionaires. Yeah, that's white supremacy, sir. That's not really white supremacy. I mean, why not? White, white people started those leagues. So why wouldn't mm -hmm. they own them? Um, yeah. And how come black people, when black people try to own some of those leagues, they get pushed out and they get brushed out. And when black people try to own certain old boys networks like NBC, they get weird rape charges put on them like Bill Cosby. 
when people like Michael Jackson tries to own part of Sony, all of a sudden they send a Caribbean doctor to kill him. You, you, you see, that's called white supremacy. That's how white supremacy. It sounds like a conspiracy with no evidence. But the thing is, if a conspiracy keeps happening over and over again and it's very consistent, is it a conspiracy, though? Hey, come on, come on. The reality Every, is, no, 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 you just want to keep no, blaming no, 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 white. No, 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 no. Come on, let, let's let's just talk turkey. Every time a black person makes some kind of power move, where they're going to make a real wealth generating move, something weird happens to them. The minute they start trying to own something, going back to Sam Cooke, well, just so um, oh God, so many. What people. about? Hidden no, no, History no. Museum. Yes, Didn't you a, create? Didn't you open that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. If you were so worried about white supremacy, how could you open a museum? Um, because why, why do you I, feel so comfortable? Because of grassroots support. And do you know how many ops and agents and infiltrators that have been sent to our museum? The white supremacists have sent all type. I physically had to fight outside of the damn museum to get ops and agents and infiltrators away from the place. That's another form of white supremacy, sir. Right? Dude, you're just using white supremacy as a fucking excuse to blame okay. everything on uh, white supremacy, but, white but supremacy. Your term, your community created that term, sir. Your community used that as an excuse to badger us. They use white supremacy as an excuse to justify enslaving us. They use white supremacy as justification for the Jim Crow laws. They use white supremacy as justification for the redlining and the... Um, the economic deprivation, sir. They use white supremacy as justification for the mass incarceration, sir. Your community used those terms. Why did they create a term that they practiced in full force and now you don't want to say it? Now we're bad for saying it. You created it. Why did you give us that term? Dude, this is a majority white country. Uh -huh. So it's, it's not white supremacy. The things that blacks are good at, they dominate. Okay. Basketball, football. What if they're just not as good at, you know, at other stuff? Oh, okay. The stuff you don't, you know, you don't see engineers, too many black engineers, around 3%. What if they're just not good at that? Well, sir, modern bioengineering was started by George Washington Carver, sir. But... And a lot of us are excluded from the educational system to rise up in those positions, sir, because of systematic white supremacy gets us on. No, the it's bullshit. It's all oh, bullshit. Really? Oh, you're trying to say that the education. If you had the skills, you would be are, dominating it. Are you trying to say the education levels are equal in this country, sir? Well, they've done studies, right, uh -oh. where they compared. Because, you know, the blacks have lower GPAs and SAT scores, so they mm -hmm. try to say it's because of income. So they've right. done studies where they compared low-income whites to low-income blacks, and mm -hmm. they still outperform them. So, mm. I mean... So what is it? So, what, so, if, so if it's not income, then what is it, sir? It could what be laziness. Think? It could be, you know, they're just less productive. Late, you mean a, As a collective. You mean not a, saying every black person. You know, people who built the damn country from scratch are lazy. But she didn't really build. Like when you say you built the country, like yeah, look inside the country. There's different industries, different companies. What specifically did you build? Everything from the ground up, the foundation of this country. You didn't built. though. Yeah, who who did it then? Multiple multiple people have contributed, who? but white people who? who? But white people have the no 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 no, no. who. What you don't say white people wasn't white people. Y'all weren't building. Yes, it was. Y'all were not digging the ditches. So why are there photos and videos of white people? In the beginning of the United States, white people were not building this country. What are you talking about? What were you building? In the beginning of the United States, the foundation of the United States, what were the white supremacists building? What were you actually building? physically building what were you building 
Why don't you go look up the history of paved roads in America? They got photos of white men paving the roads. They got photos of white men building the skyscrapers, building bridges. What are you talking about? Uh, okay. uh, you're talking about in the 20th century. I'm talking about the foundation of this country. Now, I ain't talking about when they got machines to do it. You do realize there was 300,000 300, white indentured servants sent here to work uh -huh. in the 1600s, right? Uh-huh. And? So you're saying they... What are, you, what are you saying? They didn't work because some people own slaves? Sir, That's not... them, uh, sir, them indentured servants didn't really build shit. That's why slavery was such a big market. And you had wage laborers. There was sir, Irish, English, church. They got paid. They got freedom dues. They worked for seven years or ten years, got freedom dues, and took their asses up in the Appalachian Mountains somewhere and and got drunk off moonshine and, and stunk up the Okay, day. so they what specifically did you build in this country? Everything. I'm talking about the you... roads, the roads, the buildings, the bridges, the railroads, all of the industries, sir. And, and all of the other industries were born from the enslavement of our people. The medical industry, the modern medical industry was born from that. The modern insurance industry was born from that. All of this stuff was born off the backs of foundational black Americans on top of the labor that we put in, sir. It's real, real, very well documented. I, I, you're not going to sit here and pretend that there was some kind of mythological white supremacists over here building something when they were not, sir. They were not. They just were not. Jeff? Jeff? You muted me. Yeah, but, go ahead. Um, let's talk about the railroads. What yeah, was the, oh, first that, commercial, okay. the first commercial railroad? Well, where was it? Was it in England somewhere, right? Yes. White people introduced railroads to this country. Do you, you realize the, that, right? The people who built the railroads in this country were black people. The railroad companies, in well, listen, black people, the railroad companies had thousands of enslaved black people. And there's thousands of Irish, Italians building railroads too. They, the first in my ass, they came the and first, started building later. Listen, the, look, 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 dude, the Irish and Italians were sitting over in Ireland and Italy, broke, stinking with headlights on them, and they were happy to bring their asses over here. Right. After foundational black Americans built a place for them to come. To. There was um, the first commercial railroad was the Baltimore and Ohio used the majority Irish workers. You can look it up. You don't know what you're talking about, sir. These the, I want you to look up the Baltimore and Ohio you can, Railroad. Okay, you can Google the slave. Trade yes. And the railroad companies, the railroad companies was big business for them. To and who were the architects? Who were the engineers? Uh, Labor's just one part. People, uh, uh, no. Horace King, who was one of the main architects and engineers, who was a foundational. No, that American. guy was um, uh, biracial. Oh, and you tell me I can't oh, count biracials. Don't you dare try that bullshit. I looked him up. He was a biracial. Biracial, my ass. It was the black part of him that and was. And last time you told me I can't talk about no, William no, Ellison. No, 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 no. Don't y'all play that game. Now somebody's biracial. No, 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 because he was still a nigga to y'all. It's like Obama. Y'all didn't call Obama biracial. He was a nigga to y'all. Don't play that game. Y'all want to play the biracial uh, game. Stop it. All right. I want you to look up <laughs> labor force statistics in the 1800s. Blacks uh -huh. probably made up 25%. 75% was white. Uh, dude, it was black people doing all of the building, sir. You had white no, people. No, you did a portion of the labor no, managed by white people. Slavery, the slave trade wouldn't have made all of that damn money if it was just a portion, sir. There's a, There's a about portion of the overall uh, labor. Um, a uh, labor of what? What was being labored? What was the labor resolving around? Revolving around? What was the labor around? All right. Look at the different infrastructure in this country. What right? was the labor when revolving you... around? Well, they set up different types of industries. There was Based a fur on what? trade. Based Listen, on what? there was a fur trade with the English and the French. Okay. There was um, sir, the fishing was industry. The... Okay. They didn't say fur was king. What was king in this country? They didn't say fish was king. They didn't say fur was king. Who what? said cotton was king? Cotton was king. I said, who said that? 
um, all of the white supremacists. They a knew plantation what it was. owners. Oh, uh, Planta- Plantation Thomas owners. King. Most people was- didn't own slaves. It uh, don't matter. All of the industries came from slavery. It didn't matter if most people didn't own them. Most of the industries were born from slavery. So a person working at an insurance company doesn't own slaves, but he makes his money insuring the slaves on the plantation. So cotton was king, sir. And you know that. Jeff, you know that. Come on. Go ahead, Jeff. Jeff, go ahead, sir. Jeff, go ahead. Turn your microphone back on, Jeff. Jeff, we don't have all day. See, this is what you do. You mute me when I make a good point. You mute me. No, because Why I don't get my point out. I'm, 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 I'm letting you get your point out, but you got to let me get my point out. I'm asking you, what specifically did you build? Uh, okay, just because you are letting it go in one ear and out of the other, I've explained over and over again, and you just letting it go. You in didn't one build the majority of employment it's, in this we, country. What's we, a country we, without employment? We built the wealth of this country. What's a country without wealth, Jeff? How did you build the wealth of this because country when we, you can't even build our, wealth our, yourself? Our people work for free and didn't get So paid. why can't you build wealth yourself? Um, we are doing that, but you white supremacists keep infiltrating and sabotaging what we do. We are the only people who are repeatedly sabotaged by the white supremacists in your community. The minute we get something popping, you throw a freeway in our neighborhood, you'll drop a bomb in our neighborhood, you will send... But you just said you built everything, but you're talking about a freeway, which was built by white people, but you Uh built everything, all right? Sure, but yeah, y'all built something that will destroy something else, yeah, anything destructive, yeah, you built that. Anything used to destroy another community, yes, I will give you full ownership of that. Uh, all around the country, when black people started to build for ourselves and we weren't being exploited, you, the people in your community said, hell, let, let's throw a freeway down this neighborhood. Let's throw a, a train track right down this prosperous black area. So, yeah, we've been sabotaged by those in your community to this very day. How much so longer are you going to keep using this white supremacy excuse? And, when are you going to keep practicing it? And when you stop practicing white supremacy, I'll stop talking about it. You you want to make a deal? Let's make a deal. You stop practicing. Is it white I'm... supremacy or black black and uh, is it black inferiority? Is that what you're saying? Come on, Jeff. Unmute yourself. Say that. Stand on that, Jeff. Stand on it. Why do you keep muting me? I didn't mute you. I did not touch the mute button, Jeff. I literally, oh, you, whatever you drop your meth pipe. That was your meth pipe hitting the button. But go ahead, Jeff. You said so is black inferiority, right? It, I mean, where do you have it better in the world? I mean, white supremacy is so bad. Where do blacks control that, you know, would be so much better? I don't give a damn what people do uh, around the world. This is my homeland here. So uh, we didn't luck up. You don't. I, I don't. You don't try to use the. We're the lucky Negroes. We won the Negro lottery by being here. We built this country. We built. So if you left level. this country, built, what we will we lose? Comfort zone. We built our comfort zone. We didn't. It wasn't given to us. This was something you can't that we say built you built the country when you can't even build your community. Yeah, we can. Your community destroys our community, sir. That's the problem. That's why we have to look at the white supremacists. We've built all of our communities, and you're. You turn around and destroy them. So that's why we have to look at you. Um, before Jim, you know, before Jim Crow, your poverty rate was like 55 percent. Right. And when we let you in our society, it dropped to 20 percent. So you benefited from being in our society. Um, before Jim Crow was slavery. What are you talking about? And after slavery, during Reconstruction, during that small period of reconstruction. In 1960, we, we, the poverty rate was oh, no, 55%. No, 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 no. Slow, no, slow down, slow down. You said before Jim Crow, you're talking about the 1870s. All right? That was before Jim Crow. We're talking about the 1870s. And what happened after slavery, foundational black Americans got out of slavery. We cut our illiteracy rate by half, which is unheard of, because you white supremacists were making it illegal for us to read. Once we got 
access to books legally. We started learning Greek, Latin, all types of languages and reading better than you white supremacists. We started our own schools. We had the Freedmen's Bank and we had millions of dollars going into the Freedmen's Bank. And the white supremacists said, hey, we got to start letting over some white immigrants to undermine these Negroes. They're doing too much. Y'all stole our money from the Freedmen's Bank. And then you started the Jim Crow laws to undermine us, sir. Tell all the history. Go ahead. You're just making stuff up. Oh, what what did I make up? Wait, wait, wait. What did I make up in what I just said? Well, tell me one lie I just said. What would we lose if you left this country? If you built this country, what value do do you freaking provide for this country? What are you talking about? What do you provide for this country? How do you say you built a country we where you don't provide anything? We do. We and we did. What? We've already we've already built the country. You don't provide any employment, like three percent of the employment. Sir, what would we lose if you left this country? Sir, what you would do... What would we lose? Oh, sir, if we left the country, you guys would cannibalize each other because there would be no more white supremacy. See, you got some people to be supreme over. You see? That's the whole thing about white so supremacy. You need, you, need, you need people to be supreme over. You understand? That's why No one's like, trying to be supreme why, over anyone. Why, You're you just like, not as productive. Oh, sir. You're not... Sir, innovative sir, if you we don't produce not, anything if, if we were so unproductive you wouldn't have a reason to practice so much anti-black racism and systematic deprivation there would be n there would not be such a need to deprive us from shit all the time if we weren't productive the fact is we are overproductive we have to be crippled and even in our crippled state we're still productive you put us in in dilapidated homes, dilapidated neighborhoods, and we created the culture of hip-hop. We create all types of stuff, even in the crippled state. Uh-huh. And yes, a billion dollar, yes, a multi-billion dollar industry, sir. We can create stuff from the... You know, the entertainment stuff. is like 4% of the GDP. It doesn't matter. So that's sir. what we'll lose? Entertainment? Sir. If blacks left, we'll sir. lose entertainment. Sir, sir. All of Actually, uh, the sir. top artists are white right now. Uh, Taylor uh, Swift. Uh, just... <laughs> Yes, indeed. And who are their producers, though? But go ahead. Um, um, the the thing is, who are their uh, producers? Yeah, many of the producers are black. These people get black. Who producers. created the technology for uh, music production? White um, people. Which which technology are you talking? You didn't about? have uh, turntables. Uh, you didn't have uh, the Japanese speakers. Didn't you didn't have none of that. Um, sir. Um, it there was... would be no music industry without white people. Always remember that. Uh, well, sir, sir. Go look up the oldest songs recorded. Sir. We sir, had the technology. People, black, well, we've been playing music since the beginning of time, even during slavery. We were the ones creating the music, and we created all the music genres, so it wouldn't be no music. You issue. were never a slave. Why do you keep talking about slavery? I, because because <laughs> I am my never family. never a slave. It's me. I am my family. I am my family, and my family is me. Foundation of Black Americans created every music genre, in this country, so there would not be any music industry without Foundation of Black Americans. The music would still be there, sir. The music would still be there. The, the, the white supremacists, all they did was come in and be the middleman. We don't need no damn middleman. You don't no. need the middleman. No, but we don't. You get on a white man's platform, Twitter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything you do, you get you just run to white people. But it was and black people, doing it. But but it was black people. Um, creating the computer chips so that you can get on the internet, though. No, the they fact? didn't. Yes, they did. Also, there might, uh, and, and there might have been like, one guy or like, an improvement. No, 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 no. We're going to go there. Let's go all the way there. If to transmit electricity and lights and all that, that was a black man named Louis Latimer who gave the game to Thomas Jefferson. So, again, you're welcome, sir. Go ahead. Thomas Jefferson? Or uh -huh. did you mean to Louis say Thomas Latimer. Latimer. Louis Latimer gave the game to Thomas Jefferson. I mean, not, Thomas Edison. I'm sorry, Thomas Edison. Yeah, I, get that, I was trying to correct you. I get white supremacists mixed, <laughs> mixed up. I get white supremacists mixed up. I was trying to correct you. I know, I'm sorry. I get you white supremacists mixed up. My bad. Taylor Swift, um, um, Brooke Shields, <laughs> all of you are the same sometimes, but go ahead. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, Tariq, just stop. I, I swear. Just stop, I, 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 just Jake stop with this Hall, white supremacy Hall. talk, all right? I mean, but you keep practicing white supremacy. When you stop practicing white supremacy, how are we practicing white supremacy? Systematic deprivation. You dominate 
things based on race. And that's not by accident. You do not have a system running this long by accident. It's a conscious system that is put in place and maintained by those who believe in white supremacy. You stop practicing white supremacy, we'll stop talking about it. I think, right, you know, you just can't compete in society. Well, damn it. You're living in a country that not, white not people in a build. White supremacy, yeah. In a system of white supremacy, yeah, we can. We got to, we got to. Um, replace the system of white supremacy with justice because what you said was absolutely true. We can't compete in a system of white supremacy that's militarily backed. It's already stacked against us. That's why we fail. We but I thought you were talking the, about we, you're the reason uh, you we, won all the wars. Oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go, no, I thought you ahead. were saying you won all the wars and stuff. So, right. but you're saying you're military, uh, you're dominated militarily? Oh, yeah. By the white supremacists. But I thought you were s such good soldiers and you won all the wars in America. I heard well, you we say that before. Well, we participated. We fought in all of the wars in America. We fought in all the wars. We participated in all the wars. And we had significant victories in it. I didn't say we won all the wars, but we fought in all the wars. Foundation of Black Americans. We fought in every war in this country. We're the only group that has fought in every single war in this country, sir. But we're the white most people didn't... Wait, you're the only white, group that... It's, it's white people, though, because certain, certain people weren't white at certain times. So that's the thing. Well, legally they were, by, um, the, by the census. I was um, just reading an article about it. Because, um, hell, the Italians but no, and the Greeks... Sir, they, yeah, uh, sir, well, they checked yeah. white on the census, the first census. But, yeah, there was some discrimination amongst the different... Because this was the first time, you know, different Europeans had come together, you know. Right. Uh, in yeah, one so country, Italians, yeah. Irish, Germans, because right. so, Irish weren't considered white for a long time, so y'all had to kind of haze. But them. legally, they were, but they faced discrimination inside, inside of the country. Right but on the first census, they were considered white. Well, they they, they got to go through a hazing process before they can get you know they could get fully integrated into white supremacist society. So, it's a very interesting dynamic. But, but it, you brought that up. I mean, discrimination, like you're not the only person that had it hard in this country. But here's the thing, Jeff. These other people, when they were discriminated by the white supremacists, the minute they got an opening, they started to be like the damn white supremacists and they stopped fighting the white supremacists. And that was the so What is with you, you with this white supremacist? Oh, no, no, because you're talking about people who were discriminated against. They were discriminated against by people who believed in white supremacy. That's what they were discriminated against for. They weren't white enough. And after a while, they got psychologically beat down and went along with the damn program and identified with their oppressor. We as foundational black Americans, we've never identified with our oppressor. We fought the white supremacists from day one and we fight them now and we will continue to fight the white supremacists, sir. You That's fought to be in white people's society. That's the what, only thing you fought I, for. What, what's and white, you're still doing it today. What's white people's society? This country. How Remember so? To, uh, how so? When it was how so? Because we built it. We built the majority of things around you. No, you didn't. We paved the first roads. Uh, no, you did. That was we built the first railroads. It was a British engineer. Um, everything you see around you, the majority of the companies, majority of employment, we built this country more than anyone. Yeah, other people have contributed. Mm -hmm. But white people built this country more than anyone. But you couldn't do it without foundational black Americans, though. How couldn't we? Because you didn't. You failed. Remember? Y'all failed. When did we fail? Um, before but you're failing right now how so how so uh -huh. statistically you're failing in education uh and wealth mm -hmm. so but what do you mean you fail you couldn't do it without yeah when we fail the so why are you failing always, if we fail anytime we fail 100 percent of the, the white, white supremacists, supremacists fall anytime oh, every, blacks fail yep. they can just and anytime we succeed we have to succeed in spite of you white supremacists every single time we fail you look at anything we fail at the white supremacists are the ones orchestrating it if we fail in education who's running this Dude, whole system just stop who's making... running? no 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 who's running the school systems 
Look at your boy DeSantis in Florida. You can't even really teach black history no more. We have to teach black history to our children in spite of the white supremacists within your community. So yes, sir, you are orchestrating the educational deprivation, sir. It's your community. The white supremacists are orchestrating it. And you're getting mad because we acknowledge what they're doing. If you don't play the game and then try to escape the name, sir. You understand? Stop making excuses, dude. Stop, stop. saying white supremacy, white supremacy. Well, stop practicing white supremacy, then I'll stop saying it. See, you want to believe that you are getting certain things because of your hard work. And you know as a suspected white supremacist, you know you depend on a welfare system called white supremacy. You know you depend on that system. Getting certain things from what? From from uh, who? From the system of white supremacy. There's a glass floor that they will not let you fall under as a suspected white supremacist. And y'all you know, if things that. weren't so similar globally, then I might believe you. Similar globally how? What are you talking about? It's just like blacks globally are just, just I mean, what? their situation is the same everywhere. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, we're On not. average. No, it's not. We don't. We don't live like uh, people in other places. We don't live like white people in Europe. Y'all live filthy in Europe. We don't live like that. I mean, if we're going to talk. You don't talk. live like what? Do you know how many ghettos are in Europe? Y'all act like Europe is some kind of big time. Well, utopia. statistically, it has the least amount of poverty um, compared to any continent. But there's poverty everywhere, but statistically, it has the least amount of poverty. Well, while this is so many ghettos out there and so much drug use and poverty, there's a lot of poverty out there in Europe. It's not some type of big bank utopia. Well, okay. compared to other places, well, those other places are dominant. Countries by, are more developed. Those, I mean, the uh, most developed countries are pretty much but, uh, those black nations are colonized by the white supremacists, and white daddy runs things to the ground when it comes to black people. So we got to blame white daddy, right? Why do you let them run it? Why do you keep letting them run? It? Why do you let them run it? Because black people, we really hadn't figured out how to replace white supremacy with justice. That's why we're focused on white supremacy now. That's why you, you're getting upset, because now when we focus on a problem, ultimately... No, I just want you to stop blaming my people. No, 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 you said it. Why don't we stop it? Right. That's why we're looking at you. You understand? You hit it right on the money. Why don't you stop it? That's why we look at the main suspect, the white supremacists. And you know, when you focus on a problem, that problem will get solved at one point or another. So that's why I look at the system of white supremacy and I look at what the white supremacists are doing because they are the usual suspects, sir. You would be in a better situation if you just stop blaming other people and um, just build your community. Or maybe I would be in a better situation if we replace the system of white supremacy with the system of justice. We'll be in a great place. Wouldn't justice be more better than white supremacy? Justice for what? Like, wh give me examples. Justice, as our good brother Neely Fuller says, you guarantee that nobody Dude, treated, did nothing. Guarantee. When it comes to murder, yeah. most people. Are oh, hold, let me finish. I'm telling you what justice is. Guarantee that nobody's mistreated and guarantee those who need the most constructive help gets the most constructive help. Now, what were you saying about murder? Go ahead. I mean, you can cry about interracial murders, but um, most blacks, most people are killed by the same race. So if you want to bring up, oh, they're killing us. No, you're killing yourself. You're killing yourself the most. Um, Jeff, no one kills people more than white supremacists. You guys should get trophies on the people you kill. You white supremacists, you are the murder capital people of modern history. You kill millions of people. You wipe out millions of Aboriginal tribes here. You wiped out millions of Australian Aborigines. You killed all the Tasmanians. I mean, literally all of them. You killed other white people in Nazi Germany. 
you killed other people in in Russia, or no, the Ukraine and the um, the Holodomor, Stalin and those guys killing other white people. You guys kill each other and other non-white people left and right like it's a sport. So we're not going to go there with the. Well, I'm just fight. saying you're the one we don't complaining. Do that. Someone's don't killing do you. you. Sir, you They're killing us. They're killing us. No, okay, you can't compare Pookie and Main Main somewhere living in an economically deprived area where the white supremacists put in the drugs and guns and orchestrated the deprivation and the the animosity. You can't compare that, sir. But go ahead. I have a gun shop in my neighborhood. So if well, I go get a gun and kill somebody, I can't blame the gun shop. So this whole thing, oh, they put guns in our neighborhood. No, you picked up the guns and you were killing each other. And you picked up the meth and the crack and the cocaine and the mass incarceration <laughs> and you kill people no. with it. You kill people systematically, sir. So you didn't have to do that either. You didn't have to create a system of white supremacy, but you did. And now we have to do something about it. We got to replace that with a system of justice, right? Dude. Just stop dude, dude. blaming white supremacy. You stop should be thankful for white supremacy, honestly. Thankful, thanking for what? For what? What do we got to thank you for? What do you have in this country without white people? Oh, oh, okay. What? Like, name it. Name what? What is white culture? Tell me. What, what would culture. you have in this country without white people? Um, everything. What? What? What did you give us? What did? What white did we give you? What did white supremacists decide? What percentage yeah. of blacks are employed to black people? Oh, hold on. Let's get my, I have a bunch of black employees, but what did the white supremacists no. give us? I'm talking statistically, not your personal oh, experience. What yeah. percentage of blacks no, are employed to other blacks? No, back it up, because now you're moving the, the, the goalposts. What did white supremacists give black people? What do we have to be thankful for? What did you give us? What did we give you? We gave you a better quality of life than how? any African country uh, we, in the we, world. We ain't been in Africa in I don't know how long, sir. No, no, no. Let's not try to. No, no. What have you given us? All right. You're getting on a white man's platform, right? Right okay. now. I've already told you the electronics industry. All You're of living Lewis in Latimer. a house made out of a. Uh, you got air conditioning. The white man created air conditioning. Not really. He gave you electricity. Everything you have. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? No. The power lines outside were created by white men. Everything no. you have. Sir, a lot of the household things that we use were actually created by foundational black Americans. Many of the patents for household items like refrigerators, the modern toilet, so many modern things, the home security, yeah. all of these were created. If I by look up the like, history of the toilet, the hist the modern toilet. Dude, you're gonna find one knob. black person that made an improvement or something. Oh, stop. it's always well, you improved it. No, no, no. We created the modern toilet, the modern refrigerator, the modern door. No, no uh, you did it. Heat. Well, yes, we did. The modern home security system, a foundation of black woman, American woman <laughs> did that. Um um, tampons, because the y'all want tampons. Wipe, the modern tampon maxi pads, the modern maxi pads, the foundational black American woman created that. Uh, you might hmm. be bleeding all over the place if it weren't for a foundational black American woman. So, <laughs> sir, well, you don't really want to go there. Yeah. But Tariq, go all ahead. I'm trying to say is stop blaming white supremacy and look in the mayor. Okay. Everything wrong with your community is your fault. No, it's not. Everything that's wrong in black society is 100% orchestrated by the white supremacists. They orchestrate every type of deprivation. If anything negative is in our community, they put it in there. And I mean without exception, sir. You name something that's negative in our community that the white supremacists didn't orchestrate. Name it. What's negative? So the white supremacists are making you kill each... You know, on the CDC... Well, we're, no, no, um, we're not killing each other like you white supremacists kill people in droves. If there's killing well, in neighborhoods, the police are overfunded. There shouldn't be one killing. And Well, the leading cause of death for blacks ages 1 through 44 is homicide. Uh -huh. And you're saying that's because of white supremacy. The white and that's according to the CDC. White, the white supremacists orchestrate all of that.
they orchestrate because that only happens in economically deprived areas. Why are they that? Why are they that way? Because the white supremacists economically deprived them, middle class and well-to-do black. But folks one minute you're government. saying you built the wealth of this country, uh -huh. so if that was true, you should be able to build the wealth in your community. Our the wealth was stolen and locked inside of white society. That's the problem. That's why we're trying to get reparations. The wealth was stolen. Yes, the wealth was stolen. The wealth was taken from us. We had to work for free. The wealth was built up and taken from us. Well, you sold each other into slavery. So uh -oh. um, some people own slaves and they profit. And there oh, were black slave Lord. owners. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, Lord. Now you're just you're going to the 4chan talking points. The black slave owners were black people who would buy their family members out of slavery. Some did that, but some bought Most them, them to it. make profit. Most of them, and the ones who tried to make profit were the mulatto coons that you spoke of earlier, the coon ones, who were the mulattoes, who you spoke on earlier. Y'all like to talk about the mulattoes when it's convenient. Let's talk about those mulatto sambos. Yeah, we do have a couple of sambos who were raised by the white supremacist males, but for the most part, black people got out of slavery and bought their family members and their children to protect them. So don't put that thing in the wrong context. They weren't slave owners like your community where you were raping boys and women and kids and all of that stuff. You were buck breaking people. So anywho, there were famous black slave breeders that bred slaves. Um, what are you talking about? Sir, who? Who were breeding? Who? What black slave owners were breeding slaves? Um, William Ellison. William Ellison. Famous black slave owner. Slave he breeder. Was, he wasn't a... I don't think Ellison was a slave breeder. I know he was mulatto, right? He had a white pappy, I think. Um, so he was trying to be like his white daddy. So he See, don't everything you do, just blame on whites. Blame yeah. on whites. William Ellison was being like his white pappy. So he yeah, he was a horrible person. He was a coon. But most black people who own other black people, they own their family members. So you point that's like pointing out Sheriff Clark. Yeah, Sheriff Clark is a coon. He's one of your guys. You turned him out. Yeah, in a system of white supremacy, some black What people, is a coon to you? Uh, a, a coon is a black person who has adopted the mindset of a white supremacist and they will undermine and harm other black people in order to please white supremacists. That's what a coon is, sir. You know what a coon is. You guys would incentivize coonish behavior among certain black people. Y'all had meritorious manumissions where you would give black people money to turn on other black people, which is white supremacy, sir. This is more white supremacy. Y'all had it written in the laws where you would give other black people money to undermine the black community. So that's how white supremacy works. But anyway, Jeff, let me get some more people in Stop here. Stop blaming white people. Look Jeff, in the mayor. Jeff, That's all I'm going to say. You have a good one, Tariq. You be good. Stop and, blaming whites. And and stop leaving the mayonnaise jar open, okay? All right. Stop eating the chitlins. Bye-bye. No. All right. Stop eating the boysenberry, motherfucker. <laughs> a racist. <laughs> racist. He had to slip in some racist shit. Stop eating the chitlins, dude. <laughs> oh, you racist son of a bitch. <laughs> he had to slip in some racism, man. <laughs> Stop eating fucking hog mogs. <laughs> uh, uh, uh.